Hello everyone. Good night or good morning. I'm Liu Bin from、uh, an Ant Group, and it's my pleasure to give a talk about the new Kata containers tool and the ob observability in Kata containers. Observability has become the key characters of cloud native infrastructure. Kata containers tool also take、uh, observability into account and aid to run. Kata containers in enterprise production、uh, environment. In this topic,、uh, we will introduce、uh, how observability integrated、uh, in Kata containers, especially、uh, metrics, the basic and important part of、uh, observability. And here is the major uh, agenda. Uh, first, the、uh, Uh, I will give a brief、uh, introduction of Kata containers and what's new in Kata containers tool. Next, next we will see what's ob observability, why we need it now, and the parts of、uh, observability. Last, we will check out the detailed、uh, metrics implementation、uh, in Kata containers tool. Uh, what's Kata Containers? Kata Containers is an open、uh, infrastructure project of、uh, OpenStack Foundation.、Uh, Kata Containers has a container runtime like Run C or Docker to better understanding. But the new idea、uh, of Kata Containers、uh, make it uh, uh, different uh, from Run C, as that、uh, Kata Containers is a VM-based container runtime. Kata Containers provides a way of isolating、uh, containers that work clouds、uh, with security、uh, comparable to virtual machines, but not have performance overhead like、uh, traditional full、uh, virtual machines. Kata Containers can run on mainstream CPU art architectures, include x86, uh, uh, ARM, and、uh, PowerPC. Also, Kata containers support、uh, many VMM like QMIL, Cloud Hypervisor,、uh, and、uh, Firecracker.、Uh, the most important is that、uh, Kata containers support all the、uh, container specs like like uh, uh, OCI, CRI, and CNI, CSI,、uh, and work perfectly、uh, with CRIO, ContainerD, and uh, uh, Kubernetes. Uh, this page shows、uh, a bigger difference between VM-based containers and the、uh, shared shared kernel containers runtime like Run C. In traditional、uh, containers at at the core, container、uh, containers are just process running、um, on the same host, and all containers share the same host kernel. Isolation is achieved by kernel features、uh, like namespaces, and the C groups is used to、uh, do Uh, resource control. That's their、uh, bigger security threats. At if attack attacker、uh, breaks out、uh, of the container, he will be on the host, in fact, and be the root user. To reduce the attack、uh, surface,、uh, we must use Linux capabilities to restrict、uh, privileges to avoid.、Uh, Uh, running with、uh, full root privileges. Another choice is using psychocomp、uh, uh, profiles to use fine grained、uh, syscall,、uh, blocking, filtering, and、uh, accounting. User namespace can be used、uh, to map root user inside the containers to an unprivileged user. But a、uh, Kata containers can be Uh, rescued from this、uh, threat,、uh, Kata containers、uh, provides a virtual virtualization isolation layer to help run multi-tenant、uh, container de deployment in a more security manner、uh, than running containers natively on bare metal.、Uh, and here is uh, the uh, features of Kata containers. Uh, Kata containers、uh, runs in a dedicated uh, uh, Linux kernel, uh, providing isolation of network 
I/O, memory, and uh, can utilize the hardware enforced isolation with uh, virtualization VT extensions. Kata containers uh, has uh, um, compat compatibility like run C uh, supports the industries uh, standards, uh, including OCI container format. Uh, uh, Kubernetes CRI interface as well as uh, legacy uh, virtualization technologies. Uh, so Kata containers use uh, use uh, a VM, but it can deliver uh, consistent perf performance as uh, uh, standard uh, Linux Linux containers. Increase the uh, isolation without the performance tax tax of standard uh, virtual machines. The speed. The speed of containers, the security of VMs, this means the user should not care about the performance uh, overhead and use the minimal uh, resources by runtime itself. Uh, why isolation is important? Uh, basically, we can say that uh, containers are uh, processes running in an isolated uh, sandbox, but the isolation uh, is not only limited uh, to process uh, isolation nowadays. Besides, uh, besides uh, security isolation, performance and failure isolation is becoming more and more important for a large and multi-tenant cluster uh, which running workloads of diversity. Security isolation can reduce the attack surface against the host system. The host kernel don't need to uh, schedule the guest threads. Uh, therefore, there is less impaction uh, between containers running uh, with different workloads or from different uh, users. Uh, failure, failure isolation is an important tool because different uh, containers are using different uh, kernels. Even, even if one application triggered a kernel panic, it won't affect other containers running on the same host. This can keep uh, users' workload safe, safe from other users' failure. Mm, and the most exciting thing, uh, container, Kata containers works perfectly uh, with Kubernetes. Uh, Kubernetes supports uh, a mul multiple uh, container runtimes in a single cluster or one node. For example, you can in use uh, run C and Kata containers on the same node. The workaround, the workaround, uh, the word runtime uh, sometimes make uh, people confused. In fact, there are two types of uh, runtimes: the high-level runtimes and the low-level runtimes. High-level runtimes uh, meaning maintains the entire life cycle of a container. For example, download, downloading Im images from a image repo, many manage running containers. The real work of starting or stopping a, a container is done by a low-level container runtimes. Container D is the most used high-level uh, container runtimes. Uh, and another choice is uh, CRIO. Uh, both uh, are supporting C supporting CRI, so both work can work uh, with can work with uh, Kubernetes. Low level container runtime is uh, responsible for creating and uh, deleting containers and uh, implement uh, a container runtime spike defined by OCI. The most uh, used lower Runtime as uh, run C. Uh, observe others uh, uh, include the Gvisor and the Kata containers. Kata, can, Kata agent as one uh, component uh, running inside the pod sandbox, uh, the guest OS, and uh, communicate with Kata shim through uh, TTRPC protocol using a WeSocket connection. Kata agent uh, works like a low level runtime in in guest OS, responsible 
for managing continuous life cycle. And Kata Containers also responsible for VM-based containers spe specific uh, works. For example, device hot plug uh, and uh, update resources uh, dynamically. Uh, so uh, next we will uh, get go on to the main topic, uh, talking something about the new Kata Containers tool. One of the most big ch changes is uh, a rewrite of Kata Containers Agent to help uh, reduce the attack surface and uh, reduce uh, overhead. The agent was rewritten in Rust and used a low low lower level version of gRPC named TTRPC to reduce the memory. The main benefit uh, uh, users will see that uh, memory usage reduced from uh, 11 megabytes to 300 uh, kilobytes. This release also added uh, uh, support for the cloud hypervisor VMML up to the same level of uh, the support uh, as QML. Uh, and also uh, in Kata containers to VSocket has been the default communication protocol. Uh, and uh, word IOFS uh, become the uh, default file sharing uh, mechanism in to improve uh, performance. Um, also, Kata, Kata continues to uh, offer significant, significant uh, improvements uh, around observability and uh, manageability. Uh, Kata containers now provide uh, metrics about the runtime itself, the VMM as well as uh, the um, guest kernel, the agent uh, in the guest. Uh, all the metrics are uh, in a Prometheus format. This will help uh, OPS or SRE uh, with understanding uh, the infrastructure impact of running Kata containers and will help users and developers to better understand the workload uh, performance. Uh, Kata containers do uh, intro introduced a new uh, tool called uh, Kata Agent CTL. Uh, this tool can make a uh, developer happy when debugging the agent API and the call agent inside uh, uh, the guest OS. Uh, and uh, it uh, is celebrated that the Kata Containers tool will be released. Uh, now let, let's see what's uh, observability. Uh, first, uh, a bit, um, first we will uh, review the offici of, uh, official definition of cloud native before we talk about uh, observability. From this uh, definition, we, we can see that uh, cloud native suggests suggest, uh, some uh, technical approaches like uh, uh, containers, uh, uh, service meshes, immutable infrastructure, uh, and uh, microservice. Uh, the second uh, uh, paragraph describes the uh, ideal system attributes for cloud native technologies, like uh, loosely coupled, automation, manageable, and also observable. So we can see that uh, the observability as a key index for cloud native technologies. Uh, and here, uh, this page uh, shows the uh, key attributes for cloud native infrastructure. The first and import important is that cloud native applications should be packaged uh, as lightweight containers that can scale in and scale out, scale out uh, rapidly. And, and elastic, uh, elastic uh, infrastructure can achieve av availability and scalability, but that will be beyond the, uh, the scope of this topic. Needless uh, to say, one of the best uh, technology is uh, Kubernetes for automating deployment, uh, scaling, and operations of containers. And now this uh, ob observability is gain gaining attention in the software world. A system as uh, observable info 
Info developers can understand its current state from the outside. To help engineers to deliver excellent customer experience rapidly and frequently in modern um, complexity IT technologies and environment. Uh, there are a lot of definitions of uh, out there as to what the word observability means. It might mean uh, different things to different people. For someone, it's just about logs, metrics, or traces. The word observability originally comes from uh, engineering and the control theory from linear dynamic systems. A generally accepted uh, definition uh, of observability as uh, a measure of how well internal status of a system can be inferred from knowledge of its external output. And the observability and the controllability of a system are mathematical deals. In software words, control is equal, equal to operations or management. Uh, in the software world, uh, observability means gathering, visualizing, and uh, analysis of metrics, events, logs, and uh, traces. Give you the ability to examine uh, and understand the system state. Let's you understand how they are behaving and uh, uh, performing, when and where and why something goes wrong. But uh, observability is uh, uh, about uh, much more than the uh, collected data. Uh, the goal of observability is not to collect, collect logs, metrics, or traces. Like DevOps, it's not only tools or technology, but also include include the uh, process in in one organization. And uh, as uh, to build a culture of engin engineering uh, based on observability and uh, control controllability. Uh, there, are, there are four uh, pillars of uh, ob observability. Uh, first, the, the metric. Metrics uh, re represent a uh, time series measurement. Metrics are low overhead to collect, cheap to store, uh, and can be aggregated mm, and has a dimensional uh, data struct for quick analysis and easily processed. Uh, even events are critical, but uh, often overlooked. Uh, overlooked uh, data in observability, it's uh, similar to logs, but uh, events have a higher higher level of uh, abstraction. Uh, there are many there are many type of events. Uh, alert are events. Uh, de deployments are events, and the failed user request. Our system errors are all events. Events are valuable because we can use it them to confirm that a, a particular time, uh, one particular action occurred. Logs, uh, next is logs, record all the execution in your application. And almost all software system can uh, emit a log data. The most common use case for logs is uh, for getting a detailed play, play by play record of what happened in a particular time. When things go, go wrong, uh, logs show the error or exceptions. Structured log data is formatted specially to uh, be passed by a, pro by a program. Structured uh, log data make it easier, e easier and faster to search and to search the data and uh, generate events or metrics from the logs. Uh, the last uh, part is tracing. 
uh, traces re represent a single request to the uh, system. Uh, traces are available in a distributed uh, art architecture to show the end-to-end -end -end latency of uh, RPC calls. The relationships between, uh, between service or anti entities. Uh, trace, traces enable engineers to find uh, bottlenecks with, within specific uh, parts of the uh, execution, execution path or, and uh, identify errors. Uh, before, Kata, uh, before Kata Containers 2, uh, there has uh, a no, uh, have a number of limitations uh, related uh, to the uh, observability that uh, may be obscured to running Kata Containers at scale. Kata Containers implement uh, CRS API and support uh, uh, two interface uh, to expose containers metrics, uh, the container state and uh, list container state uh, API. Uh, use this uh, interface, uh, we can only get the basic metrics about uh, containers. The metrics as uh, uh, container centric and only include the CPU time, memory usage, and file system usage. It's hard to say that uh, through these metrics we can assert if the container has health or running into troubles. In Kata Containers 2, metrics as the first class cities and uh, also there are some strict restrictions in metrics implementations. First, the metrics should not become the bottleneck, uh, bottleneck of a system, uh, downgrade the performance, and must run with uh, minimal uh, overhead. And the metrics should not uh, make a uh, cleanliness uh, um, complexity for de deployment, should uh, avoid uh, using traditional metrics collector or uh, aggregate uh, a agent. In Kata containers 2, metrics are collected uh, mainly fru from file system and then consumed by Prometheus server based on a pool mode. That is mean if there is no uh, Prometheus uh, collector as running, so there will be zero overhead if nobody, nobody cares about the metrics. Uh, we chose the Prometheus, the industrial standard uh, for metrics exposing collection and uh, aggre aggregation solution. Uh, Prometheus is a graduated project from CNCF and uh, widely used. Uh, Prometheus has a multi-dimensional data model uh, with time series data identi identified by metric name and the option key value pairs, uh, which, uh, which are called uh, labels. Uh, Prometheus also support the service discovery to find the target where to pull metrics from. This is flexible when a uh, target changes dynamically and frequently, uh, especially for Kubernetes cluster. Uh, metrics in Kata Containers 2 uh, covers all components uh, of Kata Containers, uh, including the Container D Shim V2 process, uh, hypervisor statics, and the VMM statics, uh, the agent uh, running inside the guest OS, and the guest OS statics. The first uh, step of uh, observability is to cover all the uh, aspects in a uh, complexity system. Uh, this page shows the metrics pipeline in Kata Containers 2. Kata Monitor is used to collect metrics from Container D Shim V2 process uh, from the same node. Uh, do a basically aggregation work. Finally, a uh, Prometheus server will pull metrics from Kata, uh, Kata Monitor. 
Container-D SIM, uh, con uh, container SIM Kata process provide a matrix about itself and the hypervisor process running on the host. Agent is re responsible for gather matrix inside the VM, including, uh, including uh, agent process matrix, guest OS uh, matrix. Uh, Uh, in the next coming pages, I want to show some screen snapshot uh, of the Kata containers matrix uh, of uh, two. Uh, first, as matrix for Kata monitor process itself, we can see some operation matrix for uh, example the script count, how many times the pulling matrix request is issued, and how many are failed. Uh, the running schemes re represent uh, represent uh, the running pods, the running pods number. Also, matrix, uh, also matrix of the go routines number, uh, the used memory, the open file descriptor count are collected. Uh, here, here is uh, uh, show the matrix of container D scheme. Uh, Kata V2 process, uh, the main process in Kata containers runtime. Besides the basic metrics, we also collect RPC latencies uh, metrics for CRI interface and the agent uh, interface. Uh, use this data, we can easily, easier to calculate the P99 or P50 or average for the RPC, average, uh, for the RPC calls. Uh, this page shows the metrics about uh, the agent process that are running inside the uh, guest OS. Uh, and uh, last, uh, we will check uh, the performance and overhead concern for some users. Uh, we collect uh, many metrics. Uh, for one sandbox, it will add more than uh, 70 uh, time series. And the GZIP the size is seven kilobytes, uh, one request. The end-to-end -end, uh, for Met Prometheus server subscribe operation is under uh, 20 million seconds. And the RPC call of for get metrics from uh, agent is uh, three million seconds. Uh, we can see this will not uh, in introduce uh, distinct uh, overhead even in production environments. Uh, thanks for your other lesson for listening to this topic. I have only did a very basic introduction for Kata Containers 2 and uh, the observability aspect of it. And here shows more uh, information about the Kata Containers. Uh, issues for Kata Containers repo as always, uh, welcome. At last, uh, thanks again for your watching. Uh, thanks.